Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Redback Spider Edition. Look at this beautiful drone. So yes, it's a drone. Tim the Plane Man does drones. I built this uh, Hexoon EDU650, affectionately known as the Redback Spider because it features the Cube Red flight controller and the Raspberry Pi, both red. And it sure does look very, very pretty. So this will be uh, just an initial test hover, um, only looking to get a few centimeters off the ground just to make sure that everything is basically working. very slowly accelerating me and if oh look at that that's just perfect I don't see a touch of oscillation anywhere. Well, that the motors are kind of blowing the mat away. That's kind of funny. I don't know how I'm going to land if it keeps blowing those away. I think I'm going to have to just land on the snow, which will be a little unfortunate. But that is just perfect. That is so stable. I'm just using stabilized mode. I'm going to fly it a little bit like this just to keep the logs get so I hopefully get a little bit of log it's possible there's some oscillation that I can't see with my naked eye but I would have to say let me just try a whoa whoops okay that's gonna do it it's very sensitive on the throttle I tell you that just wanted to take off into the sky um, but I'm gonna leave it at that well that was just perfect the heads that I used on this uh, on this drone for the initial flight, I downloaded from the Artie Pilot website. There are new updated heads set up by I'm not sure Randy or Andy uh, of the Artie Pilot Dev team. They are just absolutely perfect. So uh, I think well, first I'm going to have to solve my flying away pad. Once I solve my flying away pad. I think it's time to try the next step of tuning, which is alt hold mode. Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here out at the field with, where is it? Can you see it there? There it is. We have the Redback Spider. Redback Spider running the Cube Red and Raspberry Pi on the back of this beautiful new Hexoon EDU650 drone that I have assembled myself. Tim the Plane Man becomes Tim the Drone Man. Well, what we're going to do now is after an initial hover, I want to test the alt hold, alt hold which is the next step if you follow the Auto Pilot Wiki in the tuning process for a new drone. Now the PIDs on this drone are absolutely perfect already. There's a standard set of PIDs available from the Audi Pilot website, and I've loaded those. My initial hover was, you know, steady as a rock. There's no breeze now, so really all this is about is tuning my specific drone for alt hold because, you know, that's everyone's going to be different, different weight, different batteries, etc. You know, who who else is putting a Raspberry Pi on the back of their Redback Spider like me? Well, okay, so this is the goal 
alt hold, just train the uh, the drone in what is what power it takes to maintain an alt steady altitude. So the goal is the idea is um, st stabilize mode, take the plane up about, take the drone up about, uh, <laughs> take the drone up about five meters in the air, and then switch to alt hold mode and let it settle in, let it learn uh, hover mode and be prepared to bring it back to stabilize mode if for some reason it takes off and does something unexpected. I've got gobs of room here, this beautiful field, no one's here, it's too cold for most. So it's perfect for doing exactly this kind of testing when, uh, you know, if I do need to bring it down, it'll come down in, well, it'll come down in some snow or some brush. And, uh, but ideally I can bring it back down onto the pad, let's see. All right, bring her up nice and steady in stabilized mode and switch to alt hold if all goes well. Oh, look at that. Just perfect. There's a little bit of a breeze causing it to drift this way, so I just keep having to push it back the other way, but let's just make sure my throttle is exactly zeroed. Just a second. Zero throttle, and there she is just hovering perfectly, absolutely gorgeous in the air. Look at that red back spider, could not be better. Well, you know what? If I was a professional at this and not just doing it for fun, maybe it could be better. But uh, I think, uh, with all the help from obviously the Arctic Pilot dev team, it's pretty nice. And that seems to be maintaining a very steady altitude, which is 5.3 meters high. Let's take a look around, shall we? Just tried, a little bit of a breeze came up and it just tried to spin around, so I'm gonna, whoops. Three, two minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. Okay, it's time to bring it down. See how close I can get to landing on the mat. Whoa. Oh, and I missed. Okay. Landing complete. Well, there we go. Well, there's emergency stopped. Well, that was just, just nice. That was really nice. Oh my God, look at that.
I've got this report at 22% or thereabouts. It's just hovering. So good. All right. Now we have got a little bit of a breeze coming up. So I should be prepared to bail if I have to. Um, what I do want to do is fly around a little bit and then maybe try an RTL. So we're going up in loiter mode.